Hi Aries, I'm Island Turtle. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is the Aries general monthly reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing amazing. There's going to be a part two over on Vimeo and on Patreon. Links are below. If you're curious about Patreon content, go ahead to the homepage and then just read up on it and make sure that you do understand what's being offered. There's been some confusion in the past. Essentially, there's three tiers. The first tier, you get access to all live chats that I have on there, which there's a lot that are just kind of casual hangouts and like, especially if there's crazy shit going on in the collective. Um, also, uh, every new moon, full moon, I give it a little astrology talk and we hang out and I pull cards and we channel and we talk. It's like, it's a very much like a casual soul fam kind of vibe. The second tier uh, offers early access to the weekly messages. I put them out anywhere between Thursday and Saturday, again, depending on what kind of crazy is going on. I also give ad-free part ones to the sign readings, the monthly sign readings here. Um, and then part, part two, excuse me. And then the last tier, uh, access to all part two sign readings and then including the second tier and the first tier. And of course the second tier, you get second tier content and the first tier content as well, okay? Um, yeah, so there you go. Don't forget to check out the website and social medias as well down below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Enough spiel. Enough spiel, Aries. Um, oh, sorry. One more note. I'm sorry. One more note. I am in the process of moving. from the For the next six to eight weeks, I'm going to be all over the place, like physically. Like I'm going to be doing a lot of like packing and traveling and orchestrating a cat and a car and all the other stuff. So just be patient with me as I'm getting content out and also as I'm trying to get settled in my next abode, okay? Uh, anyway, so let's talk about you, Aries. Aries, there's a calm that's coming. I wanna say there's a calm that's coming. You know, with all of the excitement and all of the, the oh, thought I glitched out for a second. With all of the excitement um, and all of the um, the influx of energies that was kind of coming in for the collective around the new moon Aries and so... Mm. Mm. I hope this is fine. I, I never know until after it posts, so like I'm hoping it's fine. But with all of that, all of the excitement and the hoopla, anyway, around the new moon Aries and the uh, equinox, equinox, I was feeling this like... <sighs> cat hair, excuse me. Um, I was feeling that there's a lot of movement, a lot of restless energy with the collective and people getting very excited to make some moves. And you might have been in that too. You are a fire sign. You are Aries. I would be surprised if you were making some moves there too, or you got really busy. Um, but I feel like collectively, most people are being asked to move into a calm. And, I, and I'm feeling that with you, Aries. Like, like nothing wrong with being excited, nothing wrong with getting things in order, getting things in line, but almost like calm and come down calm and come down we do the full moon and libra coming up which is like about balance and harmony and there might be a need to to kind of reflect on some things i'm getting like a queen of cups energy clydester i'm working he's like i need to be center of attention um <laughs> he takes up the whole table uh, but i feel this reflective calm coming up for you and I, it's not like a calm of the storm it's just like a a coming down and being present here but i do feel reflection i do feel you might be going into some water energy oh, <sighs> um again getting very much a queen of cups energy there there's a softness there's a beaut oh nice there's a really nice feminine energy coming up too there may be a little bit of recovery and healing soothing coming up for you as well with this and it feels really nice some of you are moving into your divine feminine energy or into an elevated divine feminine energy um awareness hold on what is this awareness they're showing me 11 number 11 might be very um, synchronistic for you <sighs> what is this awareness some of i feel like i channeled this for another sign recently or sometime in the last couple weeks but um i feel like some of you may have been getting so restless and excited and actually distracting yourself hmm? distracting yourself from some emotional stuff here but when you hit that calm, it get, yeah, when you hit the calm, you're going to hit cancer energy. You're going to hit queen of cups energy, reflective, being within, being honest with yourself about some things. But it feels really good, though. It does feel very positive. Some of you may be mending certain uh, relationships as well. A lot. I feel more forgiveness, 
more forgiveness than mending and they are two very different things right like fixing fixing a relationship looks different than just forgiving somebody and then like you know moving on right but that's what i'm getting with you it's like they're showing me a ram sitting not doing shit they kind of like almost meditative it's kind of an interesting image it's like yeah moving from fire to water moving from fire to water there is yeah there is this sitting in the feminine that i'm feeling with you and it just feels really nice you know and since there is so much like feminine energy <clears throat> Um, I want to start with the Priestess of Light Oracle for you. And this goes for, you know, men too. We all have feminine energy. We all have feminine energy. <laughs> I was trying to say that. 10 o'clock on the dot on my crazy clock. 1000. Zero, zero, zero. Interesting. <laughs> Clyde, sorry, I gotta move him. I'm just gonna scooch you down here. You can stay, but you just gotta stay over there. Okay. Reclaim my space. Hmm. Any messages or insights for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter? Yeah, again, this like moving from fire to water, it feels like you're coming out of a chaotic time. And when I say chaotic, for some of you guys, it could have just been that you've been really busy. Like maybe you've been working a lot, maybe you've been having a lot of social stuff or social obligations. <sighs> God, sorry. Um, it's also humid here, so all the cat hair on my uh, is like sticking to my face. Um, some of you guys, it could have just been work. Some of you guys, it could have also just been, you know, again, social obligations. Some of you, it could have been almost this like, yeah, stress. I mean, I'm just gonna call. I just gotta call it right. Stress, stress, stress. Like someone's been stressing you out. The pressure 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 that, that's actually something I've been feeling as well in the collective and I almost did a video on it and I was starting to record it and I was like no and I just I just stopped it but here here this energy is coming into your reading so I'm going to speak on this a little bit um <laughs> 1001 <laughs> Ooh, got some mirroring going on there some counterpart energy um the external pressure to rise to this like it's not an image. It was so interesting. This is the other reason why I stopped trying to talk about it before, because I feel like I don't have the best words yet to really express what this is. Um, this external pressure that is perceived, so it could be there or you could just be perceiving it, which really means you're putting it onto yourself, right? So take that as it resonates. Um, to be seen. To be seen, to be valued. Almost like you will not understand me so let me try to show you who i am express who i am in a way that fits a label in a way that fits a box that we like to put people in then you will see me then you will talk to me then you will like you will understand me um it's almost like going really hard on trying to express yourself but it's not just expressing yourself it's like trying to express yourself through a filter and that filter is a label like I'm trying to think of an example. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of an example. Uh, let's say, okay, okay, okay. Let's say you like to be, I don't know, physically active. Let's say you like to be physically active. Like, let's say you like to like, you know, go out and dance or you like to go out and run or swim or whatever. And it's like, maybe people don't see that about you right away. And so you kind of don't really feel seen or recognized. And so you try to go a little hard on like emphasizing that, like maybe you talk about that part of yourself a lot, or maybe you like, you know, you show up wearing, I don't know, workout clothes all the time or whatever. And it's like, it's this emphasis on see me, recognize me, value me when really we should be valuing these things about ourselves and not really trying to get people to see that right it's like it really should only matter how we feel about ourselves and just be ourselves like you don't have to prove anything right you don't have to prove anything you don't have to prove anything but i feel like it's tied to this like feeling of i'm not seen i'm not recognized i'm not valued and if i'm not seen do i even matter Yee even matter so some so some self-worth st stuff coming up in there right um so that's something that's coming up collectively um people having these light bulb moments about that 
Yeah, okay, so no wonder. No wonder I stopped doing uh, doing the other recording because more of what I was going to talk about is coming up with you. So maybe it only pertains to Aries, but we are in Aries season. Happy birthday, Aries. I'm sorry, I forgot to wish you happy birthday. Um, but we are in Aries season, right? <laughs> oh, so everybody's kind of subject to this collective energy, but... Um, come back. I got carried away and then it was like... Bloop. <laughs> Dark Knight of the Soul, thank you. It's interesting, Aries, because I keep feeling this like unplugging. So many things I need to talk to you about. I keep feeling this unplugging, like you've been avoiding something, you've been kind of running away from something, and so you either like unplug by like numbing or trying to like distract yourself, or you get so busy and caught up with other things that like you don't have a chance to really sit with yourself. Um, in a way where you're connected and aware and not disassociated, right? It's two different things. So there's that. Anyway, coming back, Dark Knight of the Soul. Some of you guys are, are also recognizing um, that you've been in a very prolonged Dark Knight of the Soul. Some of you guys didn't even know you were in one. Others of you thought it was like years behind you, but only to realize you're just coming out of it. Take your time coming out of Dark Knight of the Souls, by the way. They're They're... You know, they're intense phases of work. They're intense phases of work, and it is a lot to go through as an individual, and nothing wrong with taking your time to come out of that, right? But that was something that was coming out collectively. Any messages or insights for Aries? The calm that's coming. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. The calm that is coming the calm that is coming again it has this like unplugged feeling a little bit you might be burning yourself out some of you guys might be burning yourself out some of you guys need a vacay some of you guys just really need to sit with yourself and just kind of relax 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 and stop projecting an image of yourself or stop projecting the expression of you Sorry, I gotta move this cat again. Clyde, you're being very distracting. Okay. Any messages or insights for Aries? Someone rising Venus and Jupiter. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, wow. God, sorry guys. Calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation, energy of three exactly what I was getting for you moving into this like queen of cups calming literally I kept using the word calm watery energy this is a card that comes out when we are learning to flow with our emotions better when we are maturing emotionally even like evolving spiritually but it is a calm it's a calm it's letting emotions flow through you it's being grounded and also very connected at the same time um, and I and I do keep getting pulled back to this Aries where there's this there's this realization that you have been putting so much effort into being seen or or trying to express yourself a certain way because you don't feel seen and you don't feel valued. But that comes down to more of an internal like, what's your relationship with you? Why is it so important that people see you or maybe see you a certain way? But I feel like it's more so like really fully see and acknowledge you why does that matter so much to you right and to kind of get in touch in touch with that there um some of you have a very hard time sitting still and i get that you're fire i get it but this is about sitting with the self and having these realizations there's also a lot that's been leaving because again you've been in kind of this chaotic energy this kind of tension filled energy a little stressful some of you guys became so desensitized to normalize is what i should say it became so normalized for you to be in this like it just feels like a constant exertion of energy even if it's just mental even if you're just thinking about things a lot trying tr it's all about the try you've just been trying a lot you've been trying really hard um but it's no it's been normal for you so you don't i don't even think you perceive it as trying hard just being <laughs> like you just kind of perceive it as you doing you being your natural self but that's been coming from somewhere and when you move into this it's like whoa it's such a different feeling of like 
oh, this is actually what it means to just be. This is actually what it is to just not try. It's so calm. It's so soothing. Um, you're going to really realize the difference there. And it's and again, I keep feeling like it's going to give you a light bulb moment about dark now the soul phases. And that's not for everybody, but again, take it as it resonates. And then we have clairvoyance. 35, breaking down to an 8. You got two threes here with a 3 and the 3 and the 35. Inspiration, interpretation, and trust. Look, she is that water? Wait a minute, is that water? I thought for a second she was looking at a bowl of water. You, I think some of you guys are going to start really working with the water element. And again, that's also working with your own intuition. That's working with your own psychic awareness as well. Um, both of these cards are reflective. Both of them are reflective. And I keep hearing mirror. 10, 10. <laughs> oh, Aries. Taking a really good look in the mirror. And that's symbolic. So it's like you could actually be doing that, like really looking at yourself with between you and yourself. Or you could be realizing that someone's been mirroring something to you about you. And so it's like to really honor that and even reflect on the mirroring experience that you've had. So you guys are going to start working with the moon very closely, like moon, cancer, feminine energy, water element, all of this kind of stuff. It's a huge transition if you've been in fire for a long time. But it's also, it's also just part of like the ebb and flow we go through, right? It's like we all have our little cycles and phases, whether it's like, you know, especially for like women, right? And not, men have them too. I'm just trying to think of examples, you know, like between... Uh, full moon, and, full moon, and and new moon, right? Is very different than between new moon and full moon. Like, did I say that right? Thought I repeated myself. Yeah, between full moon and new moon is a very different energy compared to like between new moon and full moon. We all feel that collectively. Women are obviously more impacted by that. Um, but we all have our cycles of doing and showing up and kind of being in the spotlight and being social. And then we have the cycles where we're resting and we're recovering and we're being within, right? It's like honor your cycles. But this to me feels like you're taking a really hard look at yourself, Aries. And you're calming, you're coming down. Um, just feels very reflective. Any other messages or insights for Aries pertaining to this spread? Mm -hmm. Another three. 43, bring it down to a seven, but we do have a three being part of that. So threes are very synchronistic for you. Apparently ones and zeros are as well. Um, Threes are catalytic energy. They're about creation, which again, I feel like you've been in fire. I feel like you've been in this like do, go, make, create, show up, express. That is very much the energy of the three. And here you are like coming into water energy, but still very focused on that co-creative energy too. Then we have sacred purpose. This is basically the, the Vesta card and Vesta has been doing a lot. Vesta's been doing a lot. Vesta is an Aries. It's been working with Jupiter. It's been working with Chiron. It's been working with Pallas Athena for weeks, by the way, for weeks. And it's been, it has been a huge part of this collective energy of moving deeper into our blueprints. Anyway, but that's what this is. Sacred purpose, eternal flame, ancestral legacy. Being divinely guided on that path. Being divinely guided um, when it comes to, yeah, your blueprint. Your blueprint, the path that... Um, Oh God, there's so much that just came up there. Definitely some ancestral clearing. <sighs> Definitely some ancestral clearing. Aries, I know, I know that some of you guys are gonna disagree with this, but that's also not for everybody. So again, again, take it as it resonates. You have been ignoring something. You've been in denial about something. You've been avoiding something. And it relates directly to your blueprint. I just I gotta call it and it's like the part of you that's been denying it how do I want to say this hold on <laughs> oh excuse me there's shame in it there's shame there's shame there um in a part of what your blueprint really is and the shame might come from your past experiences as it relates to your family, because there's also ancestral clearing that's happening here, too. Um, I, 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 it's superficial. I hate saying it, but it, blah, blah, blah. there's something about it that feels superficial, like the shame, like you're ashamed of a part of your blueprint because it's relating to something that's actually very superficial, societally based. Um, 
that feels really resonant, societally based. And you've been avoiding the truth of it. Someone's been showing you. I, I really feel that strongly. Like there's been some sort of mirroring experience that you've been having with the with people around you. And it doesn't have to be just one person. It could be one in particular, um, but it could be many people have been showing this back to you, mirroring it back to you. And you're only gonna realize it when you actually sit down and sit with yourself and reflect. They've been showing you what you're ashamed of about your blueprint and about who you truly are. Again, it relates directly to this whole, I'm gonna project this, I'm gonna project this, I'm gonna project this about myself, about this image, about how I'm expressing myself. See me, see me, accept me, accept me, accept me, but you need to accept yourself. You need to accept whatever it is that you're ashamed about. And when you do that, when you do that, um, you can move deeper into your blueprint and you can relax. I really wanna say like, oh, relax, Marys. Everybody deserves to be relaxed a little bit, right? Overall, we have grateful optimism, joyous view of the future, 51 breaking down to a six. Yeah, it's liberating, Aries. It's liberating. You get to just kind of mosey about on your path and, and align with your blueprint and, and really living in your alignment, right? Yeah, but it's something about your blueprint that you're ashamed about. That's what it's coming back to. Could even be relating to shame you have about like some lessons that you've had to learn on your path. Because sometimes like when we have to learn lessons, um, Sometimes we make mistakes, right? To learn those lessons, part of the human experience. Not the most fun part of it, but it's part of the human experience. Um, and sometimes we are ashamed about those mistakes. Sometimes we get shame because people just shame us for being ourselves or making certain choices. It's like, it could even just relate to that. So again, take some time to reflect here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some tarot cards and then we're gonna go ahead and move into part two, okay? messages or insights for Aries pertaining to this stuff. It's funny because when we started this read, I felt a little distracted. It was like, Clyde, cat hair, blah, this, blah, that. And I said, oh, because you're avoiding. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry. Uh, had some cards fly out. Okay. <laughs> I tried to pick up the deck again and then the same cards kept trying to fly out. So Nine of Cups in Reverse is one of them. King of Pentacles, King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles in Reverse. I think they're not, yeah, and then the Nine of Swords in Reverse. I'm not keeping them. I'm gonna put them back in the deck but they just kept trying to come out. So I'm just gonna show them to you. Well, let's take a look at this energy. Two nines, very synchronistic. And these two kings are interesting. Talk about method methodical, Jesus. Um, king of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Those are like, that's a perfect combination for work, um, for career, work oriented things, getting a plan together, right? That's being very grounded in a plan. But then we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. It's like, thank you. This is like, this is part of what you keep trying to like express and i'm not saying you're not this i think you are this but i think there's such an emphasis on like please see this part of me please value me value me value me value me but look at what else is going on here oh like that i just feel like i'm looking at stress i feel like i'm looking at stress i feel like i'm looking at disappointment yeah stress Disappointment, difficulty focusing, difficulty with executing, because there's so much emphasis on trying to be this. And again, not saying you're not, it's just the like, it's not just being it. You're like, see, 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 that it's, it's causing stress and it's actually causing you to exert so much energy that you can't put it towards being efficient and productive and sustainable or your own happiness or your own mental health. Interesting. All right, let's keep going. Oh, 
I'm just looking at Clyde. Any messages or insights for Aries pertaining to this spread? Hmm. Part of sitting and reflecting is really going to help this continuing to end, like dark night of the soul kind of energy. There's also this realization you're going to have too about like how much you really have been causing your own stress and anxiety and suffering in a way by trying, trying, tr oh God, like, even just talking about it is kind of exhausting me, like trying, 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 trying. I feel like your guides, even, like, I feel like your spirit, like, ooh, words, I feel like your spirit team wants you to relax. Like, I feel like they want you to be like, Aries. So get some water and sit down. Why? Why don't you lay down for like, I don't know, a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, stop trying, stop trying, stop trying, stop trying, stop trying, stop trying. Any messages or insights for Aries pertaining to this spread? Oh my god, yes, beautiful. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune, and it landed on these two cards. The second you sit, stop, reflect, calm, and stop trying. Stop trying to project you, right? Just stop trying. Things start to shift in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. It's also Jupiter energy right there. Any other messages or insights? Some of you also, like, when we're in this state, too, of, like, try, 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 we're not in feminine energy, right? We're not receive, experience. Uh, even just, like, trying to say it, it just made me really dizzy. Like, like, you know, like, sometimes you get dizzy when, like, you've been doing a lot, like, you've been... I don't know, running around all over the place, you forgot to eat, you forgot to do this out of the other, and then you stop, you're like, like you're reverberating. Um, I just started to feel that a little bit. Yeah, Aries, once you move into this feminine energy, I feel like there's been a fear with that too. That's also something I'm picking up on. There's been a fear and almost an anxiousness of like, if I relax, if I stop, trying 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 that like you're not gonna get what it is you want you're not gonna experience what it is you want which for some i feel like is literally just like validation honestly validation and acceptance of some kind others of you it's like achievement a a achievement i don't know why they want me to do it like that like achievement but that's the thing it's like you need to make room to actually like have that energy come back to you and that's the thing too, if you've been putting out all that energy and like, see me, see me, see me, see me. And the second you stop, it's gonna come flooding back to you. It's just how energy works. Where you will be seen. It's, it's one of those interesting things too. I just thought of a great example. It's like, cause again, I'm not saying that you were attention seeking. It's like, that's not what I'm getting here. It's more like, you just want to be recognized, right? I don't think it's attention seeking. I don't feel that at all. I just feel like wanting validation. But anyway, like think of the person that like does is attention seeking, that does want like an obnoxious level of praise or whatever. It's like when they start getting in the energy, people actually try to avoid them, right? People stop looking at them, people stop engaging with them. And then they're always feeling like, no one's engaging with me. No one wants to see me, right? So it's like, it's kind of like that. Again, I'm not saying you're this obnoxious person. I just think you have been trying a lot or trying hard. Um, and spirit wants you to move into feminine energy. That's all it is. Wants you to receive, wants you to relax for a bit. Four swords at the bottom, relaxing. Any other messages or insights for Aries? You're not going to miss anything. I keep wanting to say that you're not going to miss anything. Wow. So on sacred purpose, we just got seven of wands in the world. That seven of wands is the try. That is totally the try, 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 try. And in a way, it's almost like blocking this, like, this, this next, the next phase, the next cycle, 
the being fully in your blueprint, it's like it's kind of blocking it. Any other messages or insights for Aries? Feeling that mirroring experience um, with people coming up here. We'll see if some court cards want to come out. Out of three tarot cards, two of them are majors and both of them are about cycles. Both of them are about cycles. Any other messages or insights for Aries? <sighs> Death. Transformation. It's also dark night of the soul energy, and it really wanted to land on the Wheel of Fortune. That's massive shifting right there. Massive. Both of them speak of major changes. Again, I really feel like you're coming out of a dark night of the soul, whether you realize, did not realize you were even in one, or you thought it was over a long time ago. You've actually, you're realizing you've been in one. Wow. Total dark night of the soul energy with death and ace of cups. This also represents that like rebirth energy coming into the new energy, coming into water as well. Um, but definitely a new energy, new perspective. Ooh. This is where you've been, Aries, King of Pentacles in reverse. Shadowy, shadowy, Taurian, masculine energy. Um, this is an energy of somebody who's very focused on filling the void, you could say. I mean, think of it, right? It's like it's Venus Earth energy. It's Taurus, but it's the shadow of Taurus. Shadow of Taurus is indulgence. It's Venus. Venus is all about intoxication. And with Taurus, it's about the senses, overdoing the senses, overdoing touch, taste hearing i guess uh, <laughs> i'm like what are I'm like, i can't think of all the senses um what are the senses seeing right so seeing hearing tasting touching wait hearing seeing tasting touching i'm missing one because there's five senses wait hearing tasting touching hearing tasting touching seeing I feel very dumb that I like, can't think of the lot of smelling. Oh, well, some people smell very intoxicating. But anyway, you understand what I'm saying, right? It's like always doing, 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 trying, 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 trying. And it's like whether you, this is all about addiction for you or it's all about the wanting to be seen in a certain way, wanting to be validated for who you really are. Like, you know who you are, but you wanted other people to know who you are. But the only way that happens is if you're just doing you. And also you're not trying to get people to see this part, parts of you or to see the value that you carry. You carry value and the people who are 33, 11 on the clock and people who aren't meant to see it will see it, right? Um, this can also be being way too focused on work way too focused on the material plane, way too focused on money, way too focused on success. Um, again, I heard indulgence again with that. But this is what is falling away. This is a part of you that you are moving out of as you are also moving out of the dark night of the soul. On the bottom, ooh, yummy, chariots. Wow, with your sword of truth, five of cups about disappointments you've had and the illusions around them and the illusions you've had around what it is that you think would make you happy wow and then nine of pentacles in reverse with the ten a lot of cups here with the ten of cups some of you have just really wanted that validation some of you just really want to try just really wanted family just really wanted support and then five of pentacles after that and felt very alone and i get it aries i get it i totally get it for some of you you could have been you could have had a very rocky childhood or really rocky relationships to where it was like maybe your family didn't value you and that's that's on them right that's on them um maybe you were abandoned as a kid with that five of pentacles energy maybe you struggle through um material uh, scarcity and struggle right like maybe you struggled with money maybe you struggled with keeping a roof over your head maybe your family struggled with being able to feed everybody right it's like there's all kinds of ways that this could have manifested but with the chariot and the ace of swords being the overall energy for you 
that is so beautiful that is being triumphant that is being successful here that is overcoming all of this that is moving into your power and then you can even look at the chariot as a bit of an ascension card but with truth with the truth and clarity of what it is that you really have gone through and again it's the clarity about this five of cups and the seven of cups the illusions that you've had about your disappointment, the illusions that you've had around your grief or the or what illusions were created out of your grief or feeling lost, feeling alone, feeling left behind. And that with seven and five, that's two of cups energy, right? And these illusions spilled over to the nine. Also, again, kind of speaks to two of cups energy. So it's like, yeah, I, I keep feeling like mirroring experiences were here that people were showing you this about yourself. Um, yeah, I, illusions about what it is you actually wanted or what would actually make you happy because you were so focused on this, right? Because you were so focused on how alone you felt, slash feel. And Nine of Pentacles in verse also speaks of, of struggling with uh, self-worth. Wow, underneath the Five of Pentacles, look. Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Swords maybe feeling like um, success was eluding you or your idea of success or the image you wanted people to see. Because I look at Ten of Pentacles as like, as the 10th house. I look at Ten of Pentacles as Midhaven energy, which is also about how people see you, which is why the 11th house is public recognition of, you know, rewards and things like that. But with King of Pentacles in a verse and the Ten of Pentacles, with the Four of Swords and like the Five of Pentacles also being present, that's feeling like this has been evasive but I feel like it comes down to image and being seen a certain way, being valued in a certain way, wanting to be valued a certain way. Again, I'm getting shame. What are you, what, what is it that you've been ashamed of? It's going to be different for everybody. I might explore that in part two a little bit, but anyway, I've been on here too long for part one. I'm going to jump over to part two and I will see you guys very soon. Okay. And if you are parting ways, if you're not going to part two, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a lot out of it and I'll see you guys later. Take care.